onto shoes. Woo! Do you have? Oh, you're wearing New Balances. And my new. Eh. That's crazy. Let me get it up. She got the New Balances on deck. I've got the New Balances. Five seven four. Five seven four. Yep. And they look really small because they are. I wish I. I should have just got the Lemon Child's version, but I did pay a pretty pretty good price for yeah. it. So yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. New Balances. New Balances are like one of the biggest shoe brands in the world right now, and have been for like the last two to three years. I agree. Um. I've never bought New Balances. Um, I haven't bought them since I was probably like maybe five. Yeah. Like that's how that's how much they can. Their resurgence is insane. Yeah, it's they, crazy. I think it all uh, came with the with the dad shoe trend. Like that dad yes. shoe trend catapulted everything in the world. Like in that in that world of shoes, anyway. Yeah. Like New Balances, Asics. Can't think of anything else. Right now. I love it. New Balances, Asics. Uh, the list goes on, you know. I don't have, what what's understood doesn't need to be said. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, it was a whole sneeding thing, and everyone was like, "Oh, the person sneeding." Yeah, like wearing jeans and sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, what I'm doing yeah. right now. <laughs> Maybe not the kind of sneakers that you yeah. usually wear, but yeah, more like the mesh, the mesh runner. Type yeah, like shoes. a lot of people out, a lot of people work with them and they yeah. do it, and like, but it's cool now. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool yeah. thing. Sorry, my phone. You're good. You're good. I, I think the one of the biggest things with that is yes, the dad shoe trend, but I think. The person who's really responsible for the, um, for the for the spotlight that New Balance and Asics have right now is Kanye West. Ooh, hot take. <laughs> I think I think no, no, Kanye West. That. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. I think. Um, I mean, right now, do you reckon? Well, he's like, it's all like a, a snowball effect. I think. I think he. Yeah, I feel. He made a shoe, which was. Back in like 2017, he made the Yeezy, I don't know what they're called, the Yeezy 700, and they looked like this. Yeah, they're cool. And this was what started the dad shoe trend. Mm. And you go up like, what, five, six, seven years later? Yeah. And now everybody and their mama has like a runner type shoe on their feet. Isn't it crazy just like how things aren't in fashion and like absolutely like, oh, what? Yeah. And now it's just... It's come around, like yeah. it's just come back. I, I like I think of, like dresses over jeans. Yeah, that's now in style. Yeah, but yeah, like the sneeding thing, people yeah. doing that. That's yeah, that's really interesting because like especially I mean it's in everything in the world, but especially in fashion, it, people, it's like a I don't know what you, what do you call the boat that goes like, you know, in like uh, amusement uh, parks when there's like or like, like a seesaw maybe yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Basically, like when something is really popular, it becomes disliked yeah and then the unpopular thing becomes cool oh, and, and then it just goes into a cycle again it's so crazy like the, bi the biggest example of this is like jeans right now like mm, baggy right jeans. now baggy jeans are like the biggest thing ever yeah but the skinny jeans were the shit yeah but on my tiktok slowly i've been seeing people like now like slowly but surely moving into like slim jeans or like yeah. flare jeans or like yeah. just something with a more like slimmer silhouette yeah so and funny, just goes eh? back and forth. It's like a cycle every 10, 15 years or something like that. I think it definitely has a play with, and I could be wrong here, but newer generations yeah. becoming like becoming born, but like, you know, yeah. gaining consciousness <laughs> and having like their ideas and um, new fashion trends and bringing them on. So if you think of, you know, we could, you could say, you know, skinny jeans are for millennials. Yeah. But who's to say that, what's the generation after us? Alpha. Yeah, so what if... You could say that Generation Alpha will bring that skinny yeah. gene trend into life yeah, when sure. they, you know, grow up yeah. and um, have that kind of influence on everyone else. Because it, I reckon it just go skips through generations. Like, yeah. and you got to think about. Um, I always think about like older people now and how like I, I specifically think of women. Yeah. And you know, a lot of older women have shorter hair. Maybe it's because of you know our hair gets a little bit like mm. thinner and whatnot when you get older True. but a lot of them don't wear their head down but some of them do and it's like that whole like 70s oh. yeah, yeah. 50s 60s 40s even if they're that old yeah um of like their hairstyles are just kind of just stayed the same throughout their whole life because yeah. that's just how they've been brought up yeah and their generation like yeah. you know fucks with it yeah and i think it's so interesting so when i see like a usually like an older woman with like long hair i'm like oh, i bet you that person's yeah. like born in this decade or is that of some generation because of that. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of like that's the fashion yeah. trip. It's just, it's just keep going yeah. back and forth and back and forth. And it's crazy. Like if you're into fashion a little bit, you'd know like all the meme culture that comes with it. And I think for the longest, New Balance was part of this like 
caricature that was like wearing New Balances and or Crocs and had like a fanny pack on and wore like chino mm. shorts and like that look was so synonymous with the brand yeah that it's only up until like the late 2010s where like suddenly influencers and supermodels started wearing them and suddenly the shoe became cool mm. and suddenly and it makes you think that like the product itself is never actually inherently cool or not it's mm. the person who wears it it's the person mm. who rocks it absolutely I agree and like it's kind of I don't know like it's weird like if you if you thought 10 years ago that like New Balance would be, would be, like, one of the biggest shoe brands on earth. I'd fucking, like, say you're lying. Yeah. Like, oh, no, you can't beat Nike. You can't beat Adidas. Yeah, They're yeah. so cool. And, yeah, just, like, a Gigi Hadid wears it, and suddenly every girl and their mama and boy and girl is, like, wearing them. And, like, yeah, it just makes you, it makes it, I don't know what the, what the saying is, but basically, like, the shoe is the canvas, mm. and like the person that wears it is the art kind of thing. Yeah, oh, I love that. Profound. Oh, wow. Wise. Oh my Wise. God, send that to me. Yeah. Send that to me. I need it. I want that. <laughs> I love that. I love that saying. Yeah, and I think the yeah with since that like rebrand with um with the with the models and like influencers and stuff, they've start like it's become a more validated brand, and obviously mm. with validation comes success, and with success comes the yearning for collaboration. So recently they've had like a lot of really cool collaborations. They've had like collaboration with, I don't know if you'd know the brand, like it has like four J's in the start, but then Jound. Oh, no. Jound, Jound, um, New Balance. Let me, let me show you, let me show you. I'm actually, sorry, I'm geeking out. Can you tell I used to work at a shoe store? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I did it? <laughs> They're like these. They look like regular. Oh, they're new cool. No, they're like, sick. I love them. Yeah. And then one more thing is Aim Leon Door. And wait. They literally look like they're your model, but they just have like a different oh, color. Oh, interesting. No, they're cute. I like yeah. them too. It's funny because, like, well, it's not that funny, but like <laughs> New Balance, like, obviously, we think of, oh, God. It just shoes astound me how many yeah. different kinds of shoes there yeah. are in the world, but like of the same make, but just different colors, things like that. It's just, yeah. I mean, clothes, we could say that about clothes, but shoes are just so different because it's something that you don't need. You don't need many shoes in your life, yeah. you know? And so because it's just so many, it's like, how could you choose? Yeah. How could you choose? Yeah. Go on. I, I think that, yeah, there is that, but I also think there's like a, a bigger emphasis on shoes within an outfit because I don't know about you, but the first yeah. thing I notice about somebody's outfit is their shoes. Don't say that because my sister said that to me and yeah. she was just like, I want to get good shoes because um, every time someone comes up to me, they'll be like, oh, I love your shoes. And I was like, I've never, really? I've never noticed people's shoes at all. I don't look at these shoes. I look at the outfit yeah. or their hair or their makeup, whatever. I've never looked okay. at these shoes, but no, it's a good thing because yeah. sometimes I look at my <laughs> shoes when I put on an outfit and I go, Oh, yeah. What? What ones do I wear? <laughs> you know? But I've just never yeah. noticed. I think it's our like, I don't know, more antisocial behavior just like with our head down. So the first thing you yeah. notice is the shoes, then you Oh my god, so true. I have been looking at your shoes. Yeah. I think mine are cooler. Cook forces. Yeah, you you, you win today. Yeah, thank today. you. I won yeah. the shoe competition. Yeah. Um and then I think sometime last year New Balance came came out with this like billboard ad and I think it's like the perfect ad that like sums them up and it's basically this. Worn by supermodels in London and dads and I hope. Yeah, I love that. I and love that so much. It's like the most like self-aware ad ever. But it like I love how like that just I think that's such a power move if you think about it. Like it's that that's like, hey, it's for everybody. Like it's yeah. not a it's not just for, you know, one kind of person. Yeah. Like this shoe is for everyone. And yeah. I love that. Like it's like we're diverse, we can do anything we yeah. want, anyone can have this shoe and they'll yeah. still look good. Because like, yeah, from the spectrum it's like it goes supermodels in Ohio, in London and like dads in Ohio. So you can Everybody's wear it somewhere in between. Yeah, so you can wear it for function or you can wear it for fashion. Yeah. So like you've got that option. It yeah. just depends on which kind of on the yeah. spectrum you want to fall on. Do you want to be a supermodel in London or do you want to be a dad in Ohio, you know? <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah. You get to choose your future, but you yeah. get the same shoes. I think also like one last thing I'll say about New Balance is like the the power of being uncool for a bit is like really powerful. Mm, yeah, like, I love that. It's it's actually like I don't know if it's worth it for a brand, but like maybe it's worth being intentionally uncool for a while because yeah. 
only after that people will be like, ah, oh, this is so uncool. Mm. It's cool. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And obviously it's going to be like a rough patch for like mm. five, ten years, but like. <laughs> <laughs> no it's a rough no bench for about you know a decade yeah sure sales will plummet sure half your staff will go redundant but people are not wearing your shoes so yeah that's so true yeah it works so new balance sponsor the boy and the girl and the girl because girls actually wearing them today yeah i had a new balance but they were so uncomfortable so oh don't say that why would you say that to be honest my favorite i had a different model these. i had a different model it's like a let me show you it also could be my feet. So New Balance, try maybe send me another pair. <laughs> what do you mean? They're like these. Oh, they're nice. But I don't know. They just like my toe was not towing in there. <laughs> See, I've got wide feet. So a lot of shoes aren't made for my feet. So um, because I have wide feet and have lived, you know, had my foot fitted into normal shoes. Sure. Uh, one of my toes actually goes under my other toe. Yeah. So it's like this. So oh, okay. Fair. And then I realized that wasn't normal. No. But then, you know what I did realize <laughs> is that, you know, when you go to the nail salon or like getting a pedicure, not that I've had many pedicures in my life, but Same. whenever I've gotten it done, yep. they had those little like dividers, the nail yeah, like yeah, squishy yeah. things yeah. that you put through and like spaces them out. And yeah. I was like, <gasps> and for your toes as well. I was like, well, people must. Yeah have their toes like mine too. So why aren't we making shoes for normal people like us? Yeah. With our toes all squished in. Because if you, I, I always think about this. Wait, so do they stay squished in after you take your shoes off? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want me to show you? Not now, yeah. later. I don't want to give you guys a free show. Because <laughs> that is, that don't, will cost you guys a lot of money. Put the blur on. <laughs> It's just, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Go to the Patreon. 